we have today with us. Praise. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Now, I did not call Dr. Trent on my own. I, the Lord called him back to this place. <laughs> Hallelujah. And uh, we tried all week. Musical chairs and musical phones and could not speak. Because I might have spoken his message, I might have spoken too fast, or he might have spoken mine, I don't know. But somehow, we left it with the Lord. <laughs> Pastor Owen, <laughs> I, know, I know something about the Lord. And after a while, I said, let me leave this and uh, do not get into this at all. Let the man of God speak. You see, I know uh, Dr. Trench to be a, uh, a son of Abraham. Why do I know this? Why do I know about Dr. Trench, uh, the son of Abraham? Because uh, ever since I've known him, he's been a man traveling. Yeah. A man traveling. And not only a man traveling, but God set him to raise up altars wherever he traveled. Yeah. And I said, well, that's peculiar. Because wherever Abraham stopped, he raised up an altar. Yes, he did. Then the Lord God asked this thing of I remember telling Dr. Trey, do not tell anyone how to build an altar because they must be called to build an altar or else they will plagiarize it and mess with it. <laughs> yes. Are you good, Church? No. no. Be good. If it's not given, it is not given. Yeah, be good. Good. The Lord asked me a question. What does Dr. Trench call that altar where he always spends most of his time in his car. He's a driver. And so I asked him, well, what are you gonna call that altar that you drive in all the time, that moving vehicle? He hasn't answered me yet, but I'm sure he has words for me. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just assert, wait a minute. This man is in his car 12 hours a day and there has to be an altar in the car. Why? Why not? And so I, I perceived a, a moving altar, one that moves throughout the city, one that moves throughout the city. But Dr. Trench, I'm talking about you. Yes, uh, yes, uh, yes, I'm here. And the altar that moves. I'm uh, here, I'm here. Day. Oh, <laughs> I'm Hallelujah. here. Hallelujah. And the prayers that are said mm -hmm. from his car seat. Uh, I'm oh, here. Oh, blessed in the name of the Lord. I'm certainly God, here. Oh, yeah. Are you blessed today, man of God? Amen. Yes, I am. I am. I am. And so, and so, and so uh, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. One day, I will tell you why your preaching mm -hmm. is so important and why it's so memorable. I will tell you the techniques that God has given you that you don't even know you have. But I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> He's given you some stuff. Amen. To mm -hmm. God be the glory. We never forget. Amen. And so Thank now, you. praise be to God, somebody. Amen. Praise be to God, man of God. Thank Dr. You. Amen. That the Lord would separate you. Mm -hmm. Call you out to speak. The men and women of God far and near. Yeah. I'm telling you. Bring back the ten. Yes. But bring back ten more. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just trying to help somebody in here who's uh, you, you're not comfortable with one and saying I was busy and the children were sick and the dog fell into the hole. <laughs> Don't come with that mess in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. You're gonna bring back some fruit in here. Oh yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes. Open. In the name of Jesus. Uh, I'm counting on you with expectation yes. to bring back uh, more than 5%, yes. more than 10, or yes. someone said more than 50%. More than 50%. More than 50%. More than 50%. More than 60%. Much more, much more. Hallelujah, much, much, much more. more. I, I like the 
the name of that. So I think I, I think I'm going to ask somebody to sing a song called "Much Much More." How is that, Pastor Robin? So, Hallelujah, Amen. In the cross. In the cross. In the cross. Be Some people I don't feel good. Minister Ovid, how are you, my friend? Good <laughs> blessing. Good Amen. Wonderful. Wonderful. Minister Patrice, how are you, my good friend? Oh, I'm doing blessedly. How are you, my friend? I'm doing well. I'm doing Praise well. Praise be to God. Amen. Amen. Now, I'm not going to waste a lot of time. I know the apostle, she's, 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 she have more energy than all of us. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I gotta warn you though. Let me say hello to everybody. Hello, hello, hello. hello Dr. Trench. <laughs> Let me warn you. Let me warn you. I um, I had. I think I respond to Minister o Minister Patrice this morning. When I finally caught his his information to me, I think I respond to him at about two thirty and said, "I am editing." previous material and at about four o'clock or five o'clock I sent him my material for this service that meant I have not touched the pillow yet Lord have mercy. and I have been I would believe that I've done I, you know a person is not kidding I have done at least at least at least this week at le alone at least about 150 altars Mm -hmm. I know. At least. And what's interesting is that every place that I went this week, somehow somebody was there waiting for me for prayer. Whoa. That That's was serious. Yes. And I probably, if anybody is on my medi medium, then you will actually see from the, a lot of my location, I do a live recording and people just showed up and they were a part of the recording. So, you know I'm not telling stories. All right. All right. So, I am going to take this the way I got it. Praise the Lord. And I'm going to deliver it the way I got it. Hallelujah. And I'm going to keep things rather, I'm going to keep things rather simple. So simple. Now, remember, I have not touched the pillow yet for a day and a half, close to two days. And, and this is not a joke and it's not because I don't have a bed but it's because um, duty call so don't think I don't have a bed but at the same time please don't feel sorry for me because I'm fired up I'm fired up I must let you know though I must let you know I cried three times last night trying to put this message together not cried because I'm putting it together cry when I was reading some of the Bible story. Cried. Tears rushing down my eyes. Don't believe that I just come to entertain you. I am the Holy Spirit entertained me all night last night. I cry, I cry, I cry. Just reading this, some of this stuff that I'm going to bring to you 
came from the Bible. When I realized how good God is to us. And when I realized mm -hmm. some of the, not only how good God is to us, but when I realized, by the way, the name of my, the, the, the topic of my, this morning is live the word. Hallelujah. Okay, did anybody hear me? My topic. Mm -hmm. uh, are you able to hear me okay, by the way? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. beautiful. Yes. My topic this day is live, live the word. Now, when I speak about live the word, I'm talking about live this word. Uh, uh, by the way, if you all have your Bible with you, do me a favor. Hold it up to your, that you can see it and say, I want to live this word. I want to live this word. Testify to yourself. Say, I will live this word. I will live this word. Want to live this uh, by the way, by the way, I think some of your devil is running away right now based on what you just said. Mm -hmm. Say, I want to live this word. Amen. I want to live this word. Okay, I, I, I think some of your devil start running a little further now. Somebody say it again. I want to live this word. I want to live this word. I want to live this word. If you if, if you could just pause and think what you just said a while ago. I want to forget about me here trying to say anything today. Said I want to live and I gonna live or I gonna live this word. See, there's a different when you live this word. Hello? There's a threat. Listen, listen, listen. There's a threat to the enemy if you live this word. Yes. So I don't come, I'm not here today. I cried last night about five times. In the morning, throughout the night, two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning. And by the way, I was not working on the material for here. And I cried three, four times last night in the early morning when I realized about I'm gonna go into the message, but I, I want you let I'm gonna cut some I'm gonna cut some corners here that you have to hold on tight on the truck, okay? I want you to understand something. I want to bring in my text first. But I want to let you understand why some of the things that I cried. Let me give you a little preview of why I cried. When I cried is when Paul, is when Paul got whipped, got yeah. literal whipped. And when they whipped Paul and put him into prison and said, do not speak that word anymore. They whip him and put him into prison. My good God Almighty, they came back and Head of head of head head people come back and said, Okay, let him go. And when they go back to look, Paul said, Wait a minute. Oh no, whip me in a public. I want me to leave in a private. There we go. Sorry. So I want you to understand Paul refused from leaving privately when they whipped him publicly. Yes. Yes. At the end of the day, I'm going to go into this a little bit more in deeper, but I feel I want to let you understand why, why some of the things, why I cried, why I cried, why I cried. It said that I'm jumping the gun now, you know, because this is not how I'm going, but Peter, one of the time they whip the people, then between Peter and Paul and Silas, they whip them, and when they whip them. Them actually tell them now, okay, go and let them go. I'm talking about living the word, you know. And when they went back to them, them, they could not find them in the prison. And when they could not find them in the prison, the head call them whoever you want. I'm gonna get into the word, I'm roughing it up right now. And when he go back and said, Where are those men? He said those very men that we whipped and told them not to speak. They're back in the square telling the good news. Yes. Yeah. Right. The apostles, yes. Yeah, Joe. Live the word. Is anybody here? I, I, look, look, I don't want to get too fancy on you all. Yeah. But I want to go, I want to dig into why, why, how I put this thing together. 
And I want to go into the 27. I want to go into the 27 storms. And I want you to, by the way, I was about to say the 27 storm. Might be, I, for today, it's a 27 storms. But for us, for some of us, it's a 27 storm. Oh Lord Jesus, yes. If you know what Psalm, the 27 Psalm, Psalms is, for some of us, is the 27 storm. And I'm not trying to insult the Bible, but it said, and go, jump into 27 because I want us to take our time so we could have a knowledge of what I'm, where I'm going with this. Amen. It said, the Lord is the light, the Lord is my light and my salvation. I want you to grab this as I pick it up. Stay with it, stay with it. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? By the way, by the way, I think we are all sensible enough. Let's go through this together, no matter who will go fast or slow. When the wicked, even my enemies and my foe, come up at me to eat up my flesh, they stumble and they fall. Though a host may encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war should rise against me, in thee will I be confident. One thing have I desire of the Lord that I will seek after. Dwelling for in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place of the tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up high on a rock, and now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies. Therefore I will offer the tabernacle sacrifice. Hallelujah. Hear, O oh Lord, when I cry. Have mercy on me. Be of good courage. Wait, I say. I don't believe there's one individual here that this could not relate to. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, I believe, and somebody need to say amen. amen. Now when I, talk, when I talk about living this word, when I talk about living this word, I want you to stay with me. But in Job 14, 14, there's a statement that Job was living the word. And Job in 14, 14, it said, now everybody's Bible is going to read a little different, but it said, if a man die, shall he live again? Live all my appointed, all the days of my life, I, all the days of my appointed time, I will wait until my change come. Um, hallelujah. I must say this to you, that when Job said those words, his children was gone. They were gone. His cattle was gone. All gone. Is anybody hearing me? 
His wealth was down to naught. And his best friend, who is known as God, in his mind, has betrayed him. That's what he thought. Yes. But yet he said, Yet will I trust him. Yes. This statement that you just read, that's in other words, I will say this to you Job was living the word. In Genesis 22, Abraham was living the word. Because in verse 4, when one of the third day, I'm sorry, then on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. Yes. And Abraham said unto the young man, Abide here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. And, come again. and Abraham took the wood and the, of the bird for the burnt offering and laid it up on the shoulder of his son, and he took the fire. And I'm sorry, I took the took the fire in his hand and a knife, and they went both them together. And Isaac spoke unto Abraham his father, and said, "My father," he said, "Here I am, uh, my son. Oh God, listen! You got to understand. If you know when he said, "Here I am, my son," Abraham already got notification where he's going." Abraham already have indication where he's going, but yet, Father, here I am, my son. Oh, yes, yes. And he said, Behold the fire, the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Living every time, every now and then, I want you to say with me, Don't wait for me. I want you to say it on your own. I want to live this word. Amen. And Abraham, please don't even wait for me to tell you because this is a dawn of a brand new day. I heard Apostle saying a few things. I think there's a connection here. Yes. And Abraham said, My son, God will provide for himself a lamb for the burnt offering. So they went both of them together. Now I got to say this to you for some of you who either you didn't get that far yet. Abraham by now knows that God asked him to offer his son of a sacrifice. God will provide. But Abraham at this moment in time friends was living the word. And they came to a place which is God had showed him and Abraham built an altar. Thank God for the word called altars. Mm. 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 Apostle said it well. Oh, thank God for the place called altar. And Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in, in order and, and, bound, and, and bound Isaac, his son, and laid him on the altar. I got to ask all of you here, how you doing right now if you were in that position? Yes. How are you doing right now if you were the Isaac? Some of you are female, but twisted around Eileen. I okay? I'm trying to make you understand. How would you feel if you were Abraham? So what I'm trying to say to you, is that in the middle of your situation, you got to live the word. Yes. I'm talking to somebody. I didn't come here to beg you. I came here to tell you something. Live the word. And he said, lay in, and, and then, I'm sorry, sorry. And the angel, oh, I'm sorry. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him and said, Out of the cloud, out of the heaven, and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here I am. And he, and he said, Lay not thine hands upon the lad, neither do you anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God. 
Somebody say with me, I want to live the word. Somebody say it again, I want to live the word. Now I'm going to jump over to a man called Paul and Silas. And in Acts 16, 19, so at least you can jump there, in, six, in 16 and 19, it said when, and I, I, so I picked it up at a certain area, and, and then her master saw, and I think everybody can relate to this story, saw that the hope of their gain was gone. Yes. And I'm going to ask Mr. Ovid to explain this part because I know he, he has something to say. When they found out that their gain was gone, their gain, because they were doing people action. <laughs> but, but, but you see, when they found out that their gain was gone, oh Lord. hallelujah, and they, then they, they're gone, they caught Paul and Silas. Yes. And draw them into the marketplace yes. and to the rulers. And here's what they say. And brought them to the magistrate, saying, These men, being Jews, do exceedingly trouble our city. Yes. Now let me ask you a question. I'm not begging you to go watch my videos. Trouble the city. But God is having me to trouble this city. Trouble the city. Is anybody hear what I say? Mm -hmm. you, you can go check out some of my videos, and I'm not doing it for sure. God is having, giving me some strength to trouble this city. Amen. If you don't believe me, you'll see the video yourself, so you'll realize that I'm not joking. This is not a game. Amen. This is not a game. And, and here's what they said and teach customs which are not lawful for us oh God. To, to receive neither to observe being Romans oh Lord. and the multitude rose up together against them now this is two men Paul and Silas how many people did it say rose up against them the multitude, the multitude. The multitude and the multitude rose up together against them, and the magistrate rent off their clothes and commanded to beat them. And when they he had laid many stripes, meaning if you don't understand the word strike, beaten upon them, he cast them into prison. On top of that, he still put them into prison. And charge the, the, the jail. Now listen here. Listen, listen. I want you to catch this part. And then still charge the jailer to keep them safely. Yes. Mm -hmm. One, he rip off them clothes. That is already bad enough. Beat them with many stripes. Then throw them in a prison. And then ask heavy duty um, jail keeper to to keep them that mean he didn't mean to give them tea every two hours that's what he meant so then if the story went on to say who have received such a charge trust them into the inner prison now anytime i hear the word inner that means it was the furthest one yeah is anybody hear me there wasn't at the where they could jump ship soon they were put into the inner Okay, and trust them into the inner prison and made their feet fasten. Oh God, is anybody hearing this? This reminds me of roots. Okay, and at midnight, Paul and Silas didn't just sleep. I gotta tell some of you, I may not want to take it too much. I don't sleep, I don't sleep, I don't sleep too much. Mm. And this is not hurt, and it's not to hurt your feeling. But some of you need to lose some sleep. Even when not no wrong, lose some sleep. Oh Lord. Meaning, when your husband look over and touch the, touch the side, look around and say, "Wait, where is, 
XYZ. And at a nightclub you're gone. But him, him kind of don't know what's going on. No vice versa. Wife do the same. And when he here and go down, he's in the basement or in the attic or if you if it's too noisy and don't have those things, you're in the garage praying. Right. Is anybody hearing where I'm coming from? Hallelujah. Is anybody hearing where I'm coming from? Sometimes you have to take sometimes you have to take time, creep out of the bed just to go to do some night prayer. Yeah. And just because your husband no, you know, look here. Oh God. Me no mean say all the time you have to drag him. Sometimes you need to go pray. Mm. I mean, I mean yeah. you have to drug her. Sometimes you need to go pray, sir. Yeah. Oh. When she look over and when she touch and can't find you, and then she get up curious or he get up curious, I oh God and come and see you kneel down somewhere in a one corner. She knows she have a husband. She knows she have a wife who is watching the yard. Yeah. Who is watching the yard? I hope you catch where I'm coming from. I didn't come to tell you any fancy stuff. In other words, they were singing and they were praising God. And the prisoner heard something. The prisoner heard them. And suddenly there was a great. Oh. I gotta tell you something. Please, please don't rush me. Don't rush me. No rush me. Sometimes you have to go praise first yes, Lord. before the shaking come. Yes. Sometimes you have to go praise first before the shaking come. Yes. So when you get up to go pray, there is a shaking gonna happen, but you need to go prep the ground. You need to go prep the ground. Amen. Amen. Somebody heard me, heard me, heard me, heard me. You need to go prep the ground. They're gonna be a shaking man, 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 man. man. They're gonna be a shaking, but you gotta go prep the ground. Get it going, get it going, yes. Shutokoba. You got shitty a peshotoko atea. This earthquake was where you prepped. Mm. 
We don't have time to leave the ministry to go serve table. So they chose some man of good quality. Pretty good, that's right. Yes, My man. God, I gotta fight it. Where are they? Where are they? And when them describe it here somewhere, when them when them finish describe Philip, I mean not Philip, Stephen. Uh, mm. Okay, Acts chapter 6. Yeah. Wait, wait there. It's Acts. Yes, yes. But, okay, I'm going to ask you to get it there. But let me go first and for all. Um, as a matter of fact, go to that Acts things for me. Go to that Acts thing. Yeah. I want Mr. Ovid or anybody that can handle that part. I'm looking for mine. But go to that for me, which is where I pick it up from where the discussion about we do not have time to leave the ministry to go serve tables. Yes, and wait on tables. <laughs> Somebody got to help me out. Somebody got to help me out. Somebody got to help me out. Now, when I was thinking about this, when this came to me, I thought of the apostle. And I reckon that apostle have so much to do. She don't have time to go wait. Some things, folks, brethren, brethren, some things you need to do. Amen. Some things you don't. Some things you need to do because a person don't have time to go leave to go make sure everybody's eating. That's correct. This I came to my that. mind. This came to my yes. mind. She don't have time to leave to go make sure everybody's eating. So realistically speaking, a few people need to step up to make sure others are eating. Mm. That's, that, that's right, that's right. Okay, somebody yeah, find that for right. me. Read it for me, read it. About when they select, when when they select, um, pulls and then select Stephen. Find it for me. Acts chapter 6. Yes. And I'm reading from verse 1. In no. In case, read it in IV. The numbers of disciples were increased. Thank you. Increasing. And the Hellenistic Jews among them complained against the Hebrew Jews because their widows were being overlooked in the daily distribution of food. So the twelve gathered all the disciples together and said, It would not be great for us to be great the ministry of the word of God in order to wait on tables. Mm -hmm. Verse 3. Brothers and sisters, choose seven men from among you who are known to be full of the spirit and wisdom. And we will turn this responsibility over to them. And they will give and will give our attention to prayer and the ministry of the word. Hallelujah. Verse 5. This proposal pleased the whole group. And they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit. Also Philip, Prochorus, Nicol. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I want you to, to check, and I came here not for a whole bunch of jumping, but I came here for solidness. I want you to go back to the description of, of Stephen for me again. All right, amen. Let me go back. A man full yes. of, go back. Verse 5. And this proposal pleased them, and, the, and they chose Stephen. A man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit. And um, yeah. You want me to continue? Please. Yes. Full of and the Holy Spirit. Also fed up of Prochorus. Alright. So I'm gonna pause it there for a second. And I want you to jump. Stephen now, because we just gave his accolades. But now Stephen, go to the area now where Stephen got into a contention with those leaders that could not push him underneath the table because of his knowledge in Christ. Hallelujah, that is um, chapter 7. Pick it up. 
7, verse 1. Stephen, who was before the Sanhedrin, who were there, these were like the ones who kept the law and also enforced it with, with all of the authority given to them. Chapter 7. Then the high priest said to Stephen, Are these charges true? Now, you God. can stop for me now. I don't want you, you don't need. Let me tell you something, brethren. Apostle has been teaching a long time. In yes. that reading, Stephen go back and pick up where it was just about around the corner from when God said in the beginning. Hallelujah, that's right. He, Stephen picked up and addressed the whole history. Yes. The whole history. I heard this morning we heard church history was going on when I came in. He went and gave the whole history. Glory to God. Yes, he did. Yeah. From everything to go down to Egypt, to come out of Egypt, to baby Moses floating by water, to this, to that, and to new king come to know him, and this one, and the meaning, to be honest with you, one man flipping this thing and they never put Stephen to they never stone him because Stephen gave them lie Stephen was too educated oh God, yes he was and full of grace hallelujah full of grace meaning full 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 my brethren my brethren my brethren my brethren I am I came down here today to tell somebody Forget everything, just become full of grace. Full of grace. Hallelujah. Forget all the nonsense. Forget this. Forget that. Forget the padlock. Let me tell you something. Get the knowledge of God and become full of grace. Hallelujah. Hmm. Thank you, Mr. Nelson Ovid. So let me jump one more place to a place called Acts 5. And in Acts 5, this was when Peter himself ended up in behind bars. And it said, now you got to understand clearly. You got to understand clearly. Just because Minister Patrice is taking over Canada with technology. And Minister Ovid is mastering theology. Yes. And, 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 and Apostle is, is, is taking down country and putting settling matters between government she's doing that in the spirit amen that doesn't mean all of uno just sit down and say when them finish no every one of you have a post hallelujah every one of you have a post hallelujah is anybody hear what i just said yes, yes. Every one of you got a post. Tuesday night prayer meeting. Some of you. Tuesday night. Is it prayer meeting Tuesday night? Yes. I don't, I don't even know how I came with that. Tuesday night. Some of you should already been praying all day. Just to let Minister Ovid come in and just get it done right. Is anybody hearing where I'm coming from? Where the God? You see Minister Ovid could fall down on his way there because somebody was praying. My Lord. And it's L-A-A-A-A. -A -A -A. My Lord Jesus. I didn't come to tell you prettiness. I came to tell you, you got to live the word, my friend. Live the word. So here's what happened with Peter in Acts 5. And the believers, I'm sorry, and the believers were the more added more added mean and the uh, to the lord multitude both men and women that mean there was a movement going on to the gospel mm -hmm. in so as much that they brought forth listen carefully listen carefully Hallelujah. in as much listen carefully in as much in other words things moving so dynamically Lord. In as much that they brought forth sick people and laying them on the street yes. in beds yes. and couch 
and what crutches that when at least Peter Peter shadow when Peter passed by the shadow of Peter can overshadow them and make them well make them well my lord you realize the kind of gospel the kind of God we're talking about here hallelujah oh, Jesus is anybody hearing me my lord the power lord the power is anybody understand what I'm talking about glory to God they laid the sick. No, they didn't come to check it out, you know. They already convinced that this man was full of Holy Ghost. Yes. He was full. I pass away the man. Come on, the man. Talk to me now. <laughs> this man was full of Holy Ghost, man. That they bring sick people. Lay them up. Go take them out of the hospital and say, Doctor, me don't have time for you. Oh, God. But the man is sick and to death. Well, if he stay here, he ain't gonna dead me. Take him to Peter. And Peter will not see him because Peter way too busy. But him shadow will come. I come on. Where will you dead? Hallelujah. That is the power. Hallelujah. That is the power we're talking about. How far are we to be aware of this power? Mm. Yeah, people are going to laugh at us, but we know a God with power. Yes, Lord. They didn't stone Peter and Stephen to kill They didn't stone Stephen and kill him. Stephen knows his God has power. Yes. Ah, oh, God. Hallelujah. He does have power. So therefore came multitude from cities around Jerusalem. The very same place I'm fighting for right now. People come from around Jerusalem bringing sick folks vexed with disease and unclean spirit. In other words, it wasn't there. It didn't just have fever. They had things that was going on. And Peter... Peter, fill up the Holy Ghost. Yes. Mm. You see why I say you got to get up sometime and go, to, go do a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not one person and multitude, multitude came from around the world, around Jerusalem, bringing sick folks, sick folks with unclean spirit. Yes. And that they would ever, and by the way, by the way, not one of them went home sick. You need to understand the other side of it. They were all well. 17. Then the high priest rose up. Oh God. Then the high priest. Now, what am I saying here? Just because God's moving doesn't mean that there won't be people who upset. Then the high priest rose up, and all those that were with him, which is in the act of the what is Sadducees, the Sadducee, yes. and they were filled with in indignation, indig whatever that is. They were terribly upset, and they laid hand on the apostle. Oh God. And we got an apostle in the house. We got an apostle in the house. Somebody pray for her. Somebody pray for the apostle in the house right now. Wherever you are. Come on, come on. And pray for the apostle in the house right now. Come on, no, no. Pray for the apostle in the house right now. This is serious. This is serious. This is serious. Minister Ovid, stretch your hand. Stretch your hand towards the pastor, wherever she is. Stretch it to Niagara Falls, wherever she is. 
in the Bahamas, wherever you are, and the Caribbean, stretch it to the apostle. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Eighteen, and they laid hand on the apostle, and it wasn't congratulate him. They laid hand on him, and that mean to put him in common prison. Now I read and look what common prison meant. And there was a certain area of prison in back in the medieval time. No, 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 I think some is smart, you know. I just read me go read. <laughs> And there was a prison that their people would await their life sentence. Right. There's a certain prison in the medieval time. There were one prison and another prison. Now, I don't think he was in the prison that was awaiting sentence, but the prison he was in was a very serious prison. Yes. In other words, in our modern days, it's Alcatraz. <laughs> okay. Is anybody hearing me? He was placed in Alcatraz. But the angel, holy macaroni. <laughs> but the angels. <laughs> that, the macaroni is not here. Yeah, I, I can't help it. I just, I just. Yeah. Look here, look here, look here. I'm sorry, macaroni is not here, macaroni. Yes. You got to understand I have not slept it for two days and I still go in. Mm. But the angel of the Lord by night, do you understand why you got to do some things at night than sleeping? Do you understand me here that there are some serious things you can take down a country in a very positive way at night. Hello? You can pray that the Prime Minister withdraw some of his his petition that probably is not in the best interest of everybody. But you can do that night when he's sleeping. You understand me? So at night it's not just to look at 10 o'clock and say okay bedtime. Maybe you could be counting down your watch to say, Lord, my wife will just drop asleep so we can head to my altar. Let my wife just drop asleep so I can head to my altar. Because she may already be tired. I'm not saying. Let my husband drop asleep so I can head to... Is anybody hearing me? Holy Ghost. I'm visiting the apostle. Why me can't... Why me see the apostle a book a few times. Me can't wait for she fall asleep so we can go down and go pray for her. Mm. Go pray her strength. Mm -hmm. Is anybody hearing me? Yes. But the angel of the Lord by night opened the prison door and brought them forth and said, Go! <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. Yes. God business is not in no run or hide business. God business is not the angel opened the door and said go out into the temple to where the people are and speak life speak life listen let me wrap this thing up and when they heard that they entered into the temple early in the morning and brought and, 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 and taught but the high priest came and they were with him and called the council together and all the sent senate and of the children of Israel and sent to the prison to, 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 to get them. But then the officer came and found him, no one in the prison, my God Almighty, what a God we serve. And they returned and, and told him, hey, listen to me, saying the prisoner truly found we could not 
uh, with the safety of course all the all the keeper stand standing outside that means the <laughs> hey hello 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 the keepers are still outside things i mean them inside <laughs> <laughs> them in outside things to them inside then came one of them and told them while this thing was going on one of them came and said behold the man whom we put in prison they are standing in the temple teaching the people teaching the people let me ask you a question how easy are you defeated how easy are you defeated let me tell you some of the men and I'm done who live the gospel who live the word there was a man called king hezekiah he heard that he was sick unto death king hezekiah said this thing is not going down this way i'm gonna live the word is anybody hearing me yeah. king hezekiah said this thing is not going down this way yes put your house in order you shall die and not live eh, eh, this thing is not going down this way so he petitioned god there's a woman by the name of esther Esther heard that this man doing all kind of stuff to them to kill off all the Jews. Uh, Mordecai, not Mordecai, uh, um, Mordecai, 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 Mordecai um, um, her uncle. Um, what's her uncle name? Help me. Mordecai. Mordecai. Okay, thank you. He heard, sent message, but Esther didn't send. Esther did said something. Again, it's night. If I perish, I perish, but I must see the king. But I not only that, but send word to tell the people to pray for me and go into fasting for me because I'm going to go and fast for my people. Is anybody hearing me? Amen. There was a woman with the issue of blood and she decided she wanted to live the word. She said, I believe if I could only touch but the hem of his garment, I would be made whole. Is anybody hearing me? Amen. There was a man by the name of Moses. He's coming down from off the mountain, seeing God. When he coming down, he had proof. I guess my question is, what proof do you have that you are living the word? He coming down off and he have to cover his face because there was being in the presence of the Almighty God, you look different. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hmm. You can't be in the presence of God and look like everybody else. Let me say this right now. Let me say this right now. Gideon had us to live the word because Gideon, God said, Gideon, no, no, no. You want man power. I want God power. Yes. Gideon lived the word because Gideon did that. Jesus Christ said to Peter, Peter, go back out and throw the net on the other side. Peter was tired and frustrated, but Peter went out. Peter went to live the word. Is anybody hearing me? Is anybody hearing me? Okay, okay. There was walking, and there was a man named that named um uh, that name um that uh, whatever his name um tax collector, and Jesus didn't want to make the ministry look bad. What is name? Zacchaeus. Yes, and Jesus said, "Go get money from the, there's a fish down there, man. Mouth, mouth fish in his mouth. Somebody live the word. Is anybody hearing me? Is anybody hearing me?" Is anybody hearing me? My question to you and to everybody here, what sign do you have that you are living the word? What sign do you have that you're living the word? What sign do you have? Hey, 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 hey. There was a man at the temple when Peter and John was going up into the temple. He was crippled from, he was a bird. And when he was crippled, he, they were going up. And guess what? Nobody saw him. The man was begging for arm. Peter looked at him. Peter and John looked at him. And very funny, they said, man, silver and gold have I none. But such, I, such as I have, give I unto you, give it unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ, take up that bed and walk. Peter was living the gospel. Hey, there were, there, Peter and John was living the word. Is anybody hearing me? There was another man who, I believe, I'm not sure if it was him or what, but he was blind from birth. And they said the man probably could see. And either the blind one or the crippled one, he could blind. And the, the, the high people didn't believe it. So guess what? They sent and said, go get his parents. Go get his parents, man. Hey, God, 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 God. Go get his parents. They came and said, is this your son? Yes. Has he been born? Well, he's old enough he can talk for himself. Mm -hmm. 
There was a few men who, there was a few bunch of disciples who turned some intelligent people upside it down. Here's why. Because these men were uneducated, basically. Not uneducated, but basically they don't have, have the knowledge. So in other words, what I'm trying to say, God called people without knowledge. But here's what caught the, the attention. He said, man, and these men, the un fishermen, unschooled men, unknowledgeable men, these men speak as if they were with the Christ. Yes, yes. Is anybody hearing me? Yes, yes, yes. Is anybody hearing me? What I'm trying to say, God do call people who's not so smart. God do call people who's not so smart. But you see, because God called people who's not so smart like me, I have to live the word. I have to live the word. I have to live the word. Let me tell you two things and then we're done. Me, me, out of this, we can't go no more. But let me tell you two, two, two testimony. Two testimony. A couple of weeks ago, some people decided to give me some trouble, work trouble. This is not this time. Everybody, by the way, you know, I'm going to tell you something. If you start doing God business, the people are going to, I hope you know, if you ever decide to start doing God business the right way, I hope you better call for backup all the time. Because it ain't going to be easy. You better believe it. So some people decided to take, and let me tell you something. I'm a person who do my business very good. Very good business. And one day alone, one day alone, oh God, is anybody hearing me? Sometimes I'm only too proud. That's why things can't work out for me. One day alone, seven complaints came in about me. Three years, not a dime said, and one day, one, one week alone? Okay, devil. God. Okay, then. Mm. Let me tell you something. They were confused because they didn't know where I went. I went to my altar. Is anybody hearing me? Uh, yeah. I went to my altar. Mm -hmm. They actually said, we, you didn't even say nothing. No, I did say something. I went to my altar. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't tell them, but I went to my altar. Because in front of them, I can't figure out, but at my altar, I can figure it out. Hallelujah. I'm talking to somebody. Hallelujah. That was one. By the way, in less than this, it was fixed. Is anybody here? In less than this. Some of you, some of you, some of you waiting too long around before you go to your altar. Yes, yes. Waiting way too long. A couple of weeks ago, I have some equipment here that equipment that make things sound good and make things sound good. I remember when I went to rent it, they say to me. When a big music store, they, I, they say to me, and Melissa Patrice, you do not know these ones. You haven't, when you were here, these wasn't here. And when, so I'm paying per month and paying per month for these things and everything, and they just go and collect it. And it got to the point where it just rocked up, rocked up, rocked up. And then they start calling me and start calling me and start calling me. Let me tell you, this is a miracle, I'm telling you. I'm going to tell you the truth. You see, and God give it, tell you, touch you got to do, speak about it. And I came on one day. And when I came home, there was a note on my door. So when somebody come and put a note by your door, that means they come for the equipment. Hello? Yeah, yeah, amen. They didn't come because they're just going for a walk. Yeah. <laughs> and I literally, that Saturday, a couple of Saturday ago, very broken. So much money they want for the equipment for just to catch up. I'm talking to somebody. So much money they want just to catch up. And plus, I have to continue. And me said, you know what? Let me pack up this thing. I put it, so I'm gonna take it to them. Me pack it up, put it at the door because I wanted to make sure God business stay integrity. Amen. I wanted to make sure God business is is done in with integrity. Me pack it up and put it at the door. But then I went back to the altar. I said, God, you know that I need this thing. Yeah. I said, God, you know I need these things. So me gonna take it to them. But you tell me what am I gonna do? <laughs> I'm talking to somebody. Tell me, God, what am I going to do? And I went to my email, and I somehow when I saw an email, that was not a pretty email. You, within 24 hours, it needs to be here. Kindly, the Holy Spirit speak to me, and I wrote an email to them and said, I am sorry it was not my intention to let it be so outstanding. My sincere apology. I hope that in a couple of weeks I could get everything caught up, up to date. That's what I said. True, true, true. I'm telling you the gospel truth. Mm -hmm. And when I heard a message come back to me. By the way, I was calling this, but 
I got an email came back and I called him right away and I got an email came back to me and said we were looking at your stuff and we realized you got it a long time so we worked something out and what you gonna pay us then to still rent or still do something else we realized that you had it so long we're gonna let you buy it out for less than what you're gonna pay us to even just to catch up Jesus. Amen. 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 send them a message call me immediately here is my credit card in other words the equipment yeah. is now mine Hallelujah. I'm talking truth. Amen. Truth. Leave the word from by somebody. Leave the word. Amen. Not nobody fool you. Leave the word. Word to God. Hallelujah. People that lie upon me tell all kind of story upon me tell all kind of stuff. Amen. Guess what I do? Keep doing God's business. Yes, Lord. Amen. Keep doing God's business. That's all me. The people say we in our no temperature. Yeah, all right. Me just keep doing God business. I'm driving from downtown a couple days ago. My phone rang. Number I don't recognize. Pick up the phone. Answer the phone. This little boy. Pick up the phone. Answer the phone. Hello. Hello. Is this Mr. Uh, Minister Errol Trench? I said, yes, I am. He said, I said, but I'm driving. He said, by the way, no one was in the car. He said, well, I could allow you to get where you're going and then I could call it back with an accent by the way um, American accent and I go oh, well let me see if I can put the headset on and he said Mr. Trench Minister Trench I was looking for a minister in the, in in, um, in Canada I am XYZ from XYZ radio station and I'm looking for a minister and I while looking for this minister I come across you doing an interview for that minister in your studio with that minister we came across you doing an interview with that minister in your studio and we are xyz studio licensed by the fcc this in this state all over the u.s but we came and so we i listened to the interview and when i listened to the interview then i can go away but then something drew me back I heard you praying for your city. I heard you praying for your city. And, and something pulled me back and said, wait a minute, this man is serious. This man is serious. And they called me to say, we want to talk to you because we want to partner with you to have you to link straight to our studio for your broadcast every week, every day. If you broadcast every day, we want you plug into our studio for us to run your ministry through our studio across America. While people that lie upon me, God, they fix things across the United States for my ministry to go across. America. Amen. In real radio station. Real radio station. They spend an hour on the phone with me. Hallelujah. Praying for the city. They heard me praying. They said, wait a minute. They said, when we do the we still kept your stuff. They said immediately we jump into your website. And your website been on in our studio on from ten o'clock this morning until now seven o'clock. Live the word. Jesus. Live the word. They will thump you, kick you, call your name. Live the word. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I got a message from out of Texas from a very big preacher. I can't call all their name, but I he said, Minister Earl, I just want to let you know. While they're lying on you, they're just checking still to see if you're still happy. Because that means they're browsing your website. Yes. They're checking you out. Amen. Another man called me a couple of months ago, a couple of weeks ago, and said, uh, very posh, and said, uh, quietly I've been watching your ministry. <laughs> quietly I've been watching your ministry. Let me tell you something, folks. I'm talking to somebody. The only thing me that beg any of you do, live the word. Uh, 
Let's say ten times. Somebody count, be my counter. I will live the word. One. I will live the word. Two. I will live the word. Three. I will live the word. Four. I will live the word. Five. I will live the word. Six. I will live the word. Seven. I will live the word. Eight. I will live the word nine. I will live the word ten. And just for brother, if you come from the island, I will live the word. Apostle, your time, please.
planted a lamb tree. Amen. We shall call the tree of life. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Put down his wife for umpteen years. Mm -hmm. and then today there's a great messianic ministry planted in Beersheba. Somebody give God. Amen. I don't know who Dr. Trench, where this apostle is going to put down some churches, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But perhaps somewhere where you might have laid an altar, mm -hmm. because there can be no church without an altar. That's right. Yeah, you yeah, are making jokes. That's no, right. no, no. That's right. I ain't talking too much. But I tell you, uh, with an intent, someday, mm -hmm. somebody may build a structure here because there's an altar. That's right. Active life altar working. That's right. Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, that this great ministry continue as you pray for the city that those that are in it will be blessed in Amen. the name of Jesus Christ Amen. the Amen. Messiah the Lord bless you I will see you soon in the name of Jesus stay with it Amen. hallelujah to God be the glory oh, let me let me let me I, I, I know this I know this uh, Dr. Trench watching praying you're going to have to force yourself to sleep. Yes. <laughs> after, after you're pushing 36 hours. Yes, think, yes. <laughs> but, please, I beg you, in this serious and dreadful hour, all the, the trumpets have gone by. Mm -hmm. The drummers have gone by. Mm -hmm. 